Hey, I'm going to make some flowers now. We're back today <laughs> home. It's that time of the year when there's so many flowers blooming, but you don't need to spend a fortune to have a beautiful bouquet. And not when you have Christina Stemble here to help. She's the founder and CEO of Farm Gold Flowers, a national flower delivery company. And she's here with some easy ways that you can create professional looking arrangements with flowers straight from your garden or for the supermarket. Christina, good morning. I've been looking forward to this because I love flowers. I don't want to pay for the professional arrangement. I want to learn how to do it. Yes. So you're going to teach us how. I would love to teach you how. All right. So first of all, just picking the flowers. Let's yes. say you're standing in your own garden yep. or you're standing at the supermarket more likely. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Okay. So either one, keep it simple. That's okay. my biggest rule. You don't need to do eight to 12 varieties like we do in our bouquets. Yes. I pick three or four varieties when okay. I'm at home. So today we picked hydrangeas, mm -hmm. peonies, mm -hmm. and delphinium larkspur over here. Mm -hmm. um, so basically you just want to vary the texture of the flowers. That's okay. the biggest thing to think of. All right. So when I, let's say I, I do actually have hydrangeas in my yard and I always want to cut them, but I'm, first of all, I don't know when to cut them. And second of all, I'm afraid if I cut them, that ruins the plant and they won't grow back or I don't know how to do it. So rule of thumb is wait till the color is fully, fully present. Okay. So you want to make sure they're fully bloomed. Mm -hmm. The great thing is on your plant, pretend this is the plant, mm -hmm. they're the fully bloomed ones that you're ready to pick, yeah. um, ready to cut. There'll be other ones that are not. So okay. you leave the young ones on, and then next week you'll have more to pick. Okay, so, and where on the stem yes. do I cut? So it's really easy. You want to make sure you cut it at a leaf grouping. This is a leaf grouping. Yep. Okay. That's what I was going to say. Yes, yes. You, you don't, don't want it to look like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, the You're leaf grouping. Yeah, totally. yeah. You don't want it to look like a spike sticking out, so you just do a, a leaf grouping. You want to leave two groupings on them. Wait, so would I cut under no, here? No, no. But on the plant, you would cut down here, mm. and oh. uh, there's a leaf grouping right here at these okay. nodules. Yes. So you want to cut it right there. Yeah. Then any foliage that falls below the waterline, you want to take off. That's okay. what causes bacteria to grow. Oh, okay. You have to cut them, Christina. Can you just grab them? Like, John, come on here for a second. Like, if I want to grab one of these, these beautiful fresh flowers here, can I yeah. just... Can yeah. I just pull it right out? Oh, <laughs> very aggressive. Yeah. Nice. There's so many of them. I know. Can you just grab them or do you have to yeah. cut them You might want to cut them so okay. you don't pull the root out. So At the leaf regrow. grouping. That is okay. very okay. impressive. Okay, all right. Okay. So now, like vase. Yes. Okay. I always do this and it's like, that doesn't look good. Where you're, do I cut them? Most people do that. Okay, so it depends on the vase. So first you're going to fill the vase halfway full okay. with water, clean right. water. You don't need to put flower food in. That's, I mean, it helps the flower, but you don't need it. The okay. biggest thing to remember is to change the water daily. Ooh. Super important. Then when you're Cutting the hydrangea. Like, ooh, ooh, daily. It's a deal breaker. Yeah, that You're sounds gonna start, like work. This is like the biggest, best tip I can do is start low, and then we're going to build it taller. Oh, All right. Good. So, good but what is there a rule of thumb? Yes. Like, okay, I have a six-inch vase. Where Two do I cut it? Two inches above the lip of the vase. It depends on the vase. So you okay. really want to go. You want this to kind of rest on the lip of the vase, just like that. So okay. So two easy. inches. Yep. Before the flower starts. Yep. Okay. Now, any foliage that falls below the waterline, you're going to take off. This okay. is above okay. the waterline, so it's okay. fine. Okay. 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 Yes. All right. right. So in this case, I would yep. do like. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. Oh, I got confused. You okay. can always cut it shorter. Okay. So like, that's another thing. See what I mean? I'm just a mess. Yeah. How's yeah, that? Great. Great. Okay, and then good. you're going to crisscross the stems just like this. Okay. In the vase. Okay. All right. So then you have this magic yes. of television. Yep. So you're going to fill the whole vase with hydrangeas. Okay. So it's they're kind of an at, a, at a diagonal. Yes. At okay. a diagonal. Good yes. to know. Because I always try angle. to stick the stems up. They don't look good, but you're trying to you're cr you're crisscrossing. Yes. Think okay. of a loaf of bread. We do everything in carbs at Farm Girl. Okay. So <laughs> see how we go wide? Yes. You want to go as wide as possible instead of as tall as possible. Okay. So so we have here all the hydrangeas full, you know, in the vase. It yes. looks great just like that. It if does. you're like a minimalist, you can do that. That looks beautiful. But we want to add some peonies. Okay. 92% mm -hmm. of our customers' favorite flower is a peony. So oh, when in doubt, okay. choose a peony. Okay. So then again, 45 degree angle. That allows the stem to get more water mm -hmm. and it doesn't sit flush with the bottom. Okay. So now what you're, you're building do, height now. Now we're building height, yes. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to do it a couple inches taller than the hydrangeas. All right. Yeah. Okay. Don't okay. tuck it in there too much. Like that. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's okay. It's a little, there okay. we go. There we go, just like that. All right. So, and what I do is I usually do a V shape. So yeah. notice how here is a V shape. I do mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Here. All right. Well, now, what does Carson do with these tall? Well, okay. This is for the yes. So then a linear flower. So see how we have all these big face flowers? Yes. You want to vary it with some linear flowers. Okay. Right. This makes it wild. It takes it kind of from prim and proper to a wild child. Yeah, I like that. Yes. So just like Carson's doing exactly. Okay. Are his too long? Though yeah. this one looks droopy. Yeah. So you're you gonna want to cut it again. Okay. Cut everything well, fresh cut. It's TV. I'm and then I would do that. And you cut it that diagonal. Diagonal. Yeah. Forty five. And then. That's what Notice I how we're doing at the angle on the sides yes. too. It's making that low fee. Okay, yeah. that looks a little high. Yeah, okay. I'm just yeah, saying. Right. Yeah, but it'll be all right. I mean, you're, you're definitely okay. um, into the saving time. Okay. okay. Right. Yep. Doing all at once, or you can do one at a time. Okay. Do Wait, but do the, do, at the end yeah. of the day, all the stems have to hit the water, right? All of them have all to hit the water. Okay. Yeah. So if you cut them too short, they're not going to get in okay. water. So these are ruined. Yes. Okay. That's okay. You can. They can be tucked. Here we go. We'll tuck them on the side. It'll be fine. Right down there. Okay. When she does it, make sure and just shove it in there.
Yes. You can't have just a couple. You gotta oh, almost overstuff or, or really stuff yeah, it. Yeah, but so how do you change the water daily with like this? Okay, so then, yeah, changing the water, you can do it two ways. Is there a you trick? can either take the nozzle from the kitchen sink. Yes. And you just tuck it in the side of the. the but do you have to empty out the old dirty well, water? Well, then it'll run the old out and okay. the new in. It's not great for the environment because you're yeah, wasting it also some water. Stinks. Yes. The other thing is this one's giant, so you need it's kind of a two-person job. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you lift the whole thing up like this, yes. I grab it. You grab it, empty add it, water. yeah, and, and then okay. just okay. But notice how you can make it shorter or taller. The same shape works for both okay it's beautiful yeah. thank you so much this was thank fun you, thank all you. right i expect a bouquet for siri like tomorrow uh, done oh my gosh all right there you go <laughs> thanks christina hey thanks for watching our youtube channel find your favorite recipes celebrity interviews uplifting stories shop our favorite deals and so much more with the today app download it now